in today's tutorial I will show you how to organize your photos in Luminar Neos catalog. The goal of today's tutorial is to streamline and simplify your photo management. With its intuitive interface and powerful tools, Luminar Neo makes organizing your photos effortless. So let's make sure that you spend less time organizing your photos and more time unleashing your artistic vision. Now the technique I will show you is inspired by Trey Redcliffe, who is the ambassador of Luminar and famous HDR photographer. So as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we are in a catalog module. Now, of course, this is where we're going to spend most of our time today. So get comfortable. And in this first part, let me show you how the structure going to look. Now, to make this work, we're going to be working with folders and albums. And overall, in folders, we're going to be organizing and storing our files. In albums, we're going to be organizing our editing. First come first, let's jump into the folders. As you can see, the main folders are a simple years. We have the 2021, 2022 and 2023. At the end of the folders, you can see the number of images I have captured during that year. And when I click on the little arrow in front of the year, it will open up and it will show me the different folders and also the different days and location where I capture the images. So starting from the top, you can see it starts by January, going into the February and so on. So looking at the names, you can see that it has the year, month and date, and then also a little note. And here I usually use the location or event. So for example, right here, Hamburg, when I click on it, it will show me the images from Hamburg that I have captured on the 8th of January. So this is how we're going to organize our files using the folders. Now moving on to the albums where we're going to be organizing the editing. It looks a bit complicated, but it's actually really simple. When we go through our images, we simply mark the ones that have the potential to be edited and shared. Once we do that, once we finish, we move them into the album that is called unprocessed. So when I click on it, let me show you. Those are the images that I think have the potential and I will someday edit them. When I am ready to edit them, I simply take them and move them into the currently processing album. So let me click on that. When I do that, these are the images I'm working on right now. Now, when I am finished with the editing and the image is ready to be exported, I move them into the unpublished folder. This is where they stay until I publish them or share them. And if I think that they have real portfolio potential, I also add them into the portfolio album. So it's a simple process of staying organized and simply moving the images through three or four different albums. So this way, whenever I'm ready to do some editing, I open Luminar Neo and I jump into the unprocessed folder or look into the currently processing and finish the images here. After that, by using the unpublished album, I immediately know if I have shared these images or not. On the top of it, I keep an eye on my portfolio potentials by adding them into the specific album. So this is how the new structure going to look and work. And now it's time to set it up. To show you, I will create a new catalog so we can start from scratch. So let's go to the top of our screen. And depending if you're using Windows or Mac, for Windows users, click on the Luminar Neo logo. For Mac users, hover on the top and select File, Catalog and New. This will open a new window and after that navigate towards the location where you want to save the new catalog, select the name and click on save. Once the new catalog is created, it will open up. As you can see, it has no photos, no folders and no albums. Now, if you don't know how to use the catalog module, 
we have a full tutorial on how to do that on our YouTube channel. And I will make sure that I will add a link for this video on this page. So starting from the beginning, we need to add our folders. So to do that, we will click on a little plus sign and then navigate towards our images. Select the folder with the year on it and simply click on Add Folder. The application will scan the images and add this folder into your folders section. Now, depending on how many images you're going to add, it will take a little bit of time to create the previews. However, once it's all down, it should be really easy to navigate and scroll through your images. Now let's go into the folders, open the folder with the year, and let's just double check that all the folders are here. Now, what happens when you want to add a new folder or more images? Well, now it's really simple. You right click on the year and select new subfolder. When you do that, the subfolder will be placed at the bottom of the list. After that, you can double click on it and change the name. Now, depending on how you want to name your folders, I would suggest you to start with the year, after that, add the month, and after that, the date. After that, make sure that you add space and make a note about the location or event of the photo shoot. So for example, something like cathedral or name of the city, like London, it really is up to you. Whatever will make it easy for you in the future to recognize it. When you finish, just hit enter. Once you have your folder ready, you can right click on it and select show in finder. Once you do that, a new window will open with all the different folders and once again with our new folder at the bottom. Now I can double click on it, open it, and now you have a two options. You can simply copy and paste your images directly from the memory card into this folder, or just like me, you can use the free Adobe DNG converter to take your images, convert them into DNG files, and then directly copy them into this folder. If you never used the DNG converter before, once again, we have a full tutorial on how to do that on our YouTube channel. And just like with the first video, I will make sure that I will add the link on this page. So now we have our images here and we can go back into Luminar Neo. Once we back in Luminar Neo, we can continue with the next thing and that's creating our albums. Let's go on our album section and select the plus sign. Sometimes by doing that, it will bring one image with it. So just right click on it and select remove from album. Now don't worry, by removing the image from the album, it will not be deleted from the application or your hard drive. It will be just removed from this specific album. Now double click on the album and select the first name or type in the first name and that's the unprocessed. After this, again, click on the plus sign and create another album and this time call it currently processing. Again, once you're done, just hit enter and continue with the other album. Once we have all the five albums created, we are pretty much ready to start using our new structure. But before we're going to do that, let's right click on the unprocessed album and select Add Shortcuts. And let's do the same for the currently processing album. This way, we have the two most frequently used albums on the top of our list and we can very quickly jump into them as soon as we arrive into Luminar Neo. Now, before we going to continue, I wanted to remind you that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Photo Manipulation Masterclass. This amazing course is designed to help you to unlock your creativity and boost your photo editing skills in Luminar Neo. With 15 fun and exciting projects and over 6 hours of high quality videos, you're going to love it. 
So if you're interested in learning more, head over to our website cleverphotographer.com and to get the best possible price, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video. And finally, before we're going to finish, let me show you the process of using the combination of the folders and album. So let's go into the folders, open them up and go to the bottom of our list. I have a new folder called Pink Skies and I haven't actually checked the images yet. So let me show you what I would do. So first of all, I would click on the first image and then hit spacebar on my keyboard to make it bigger. After this, I would use the arrows on my keyboard to move forward and back. Anytime I like the image and I think it has the potential, I will hit P on my keyboard to mark it. You can see that it becomes my favorite by looking at this little heart icon here. Once you mark it, once you hit the P, it will change color. So let's go through the images. This one, not really. Maybe this one. So again, hit P. This one, again, I hit P. And just moving very quickly through the images. Again, hit P. And you can take as much time as you want. This one, I also really like. Again, moving forward. Maybe this one as well. So let's say that we are finished. We have gone through all the images. And the next thing we want to do is again hit spacebar to minimize our images. And after this, it's really simple. All we want to do is to filter our images to only select the ones that I have marked. To do this, we're going to go to the top of our catalog module and click on showing. Here, select the favorites. And this way, it will only filter the images that you think or that I thought they will have the potential. After that, it's really simple. Just use Command or Control A to select all of them. And now drag and drop them on our new unprocessed album. Once we do that, we can now click on the unprocessed album. And as you can see, we have all the images here. So by using the favorite mark with the P on your keyboard, you can very quickly select the images with the potential and then add them into your unprocessed folder. Now the following steps are really simple. So let's say that I like this image and I would like to edit it. So what I do, I just take it from here and drop it into our currently processing. Now it doesn't delete by default, so I just simply right click on it and select remove from album and I can click on the currently processing and it's here. Once I am done with the editing, I will again take it from here and place it into my unpublish. Once I do that, one more time, I need to remove it from here to make sure that I keep moving the file from one album to the other. So this is how you move the images through the albums, making sure that you staying organized. And that's it for today. If you have any questions about today's tutorial or Luminar Neo in overall, then make sure that you write them in the comment section under this video. If you did enjoy today's tutorial, then please go ahead and like and share it. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future content. For today, thank you very much for watching and I already can't wait to see you in the next video.